My jaw literally dropped when I got this on my email. $5,000 is what I was just offered to pledge my support to Israel. Are pro-Palestinian content creators being approached to stand with Israel? We have noticed your support for the Palestinian cause and we respect your dedication to important issues. However, we believe that there may be some misunderstandings and misperceptions regarding Israel and you have fallen for the lies of the rabid dogs. Various social media content creators and influencers said to have been contacted by pro-Israel groups who encourage them to share messages in support of Israel in exchange for exposure and money. If you want a proof on how Israel is using social media, there you go. One of the groups, the Hostages and the Missing Families Forum, was reportedly established by relatives of Israelis who went missing after the attack by Palestinian fighters on Israel on the 7th of October. Their website hosts a wide area of pre-made content in multiple languages about Israeli hostages. Based on the email shown by the influencers who were approached, the group asks content creators to publicly share these clips with hashtags such as I stand with Israel and says it has received support from notable public figures such as Kim Kardashian and Kylie Jenner. In return of sharing such content, the group promised to repost it and to increase engagement on it. Other influencers said that brands cancelled their sponsorship deals or tried to pay them off to change their pro-Palestine stance. And I received a essay basically saying that they're not willing to work with me anymore because I've publicly said that I support Palestine. I then received another message where they said if I take the post down and publicly announce that I do not support, that they will pay me basically double the amount that we agreed on. And this isn't the only social media campaign Israel and pro-Israel groups have been using to sway public opinion about Israel and Palestine. This ad was allegedly being played on children videos on YouTube. The Israeli Ministry of Foreign Affairs announced that Hamas declared war against Israel in a YouTube ad. And Israel will take every measure necessary to protect our citizens against these barbaric terrorists. Despite such videos violating YouTube's regulations. And on Israel's own official profile X, formerly known as Twitter, Israel has been using viral posts to draw attention, such as one showing Harry Potter villain Voldemort being shocked by Hamas. If you're still confused, this is an influencer campaign brief. They're campaigning about genocide. With much of the discourse surrounding Israel and Palestine online, have you noticed any content that came across as being part of an organized social media campaign?